हाई गाइज फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम टू नेवर एवर मिस एनी ऑफ माई क्रेजी अपडेट्स Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this the Honda City, the OHC or the old Honda City, the original city which was launched in India. Let's quickly open the engine bay. Yeah, the engine is in terrible condition, right? No, not really. I mean, there might be a little bit of rusting, but Hyper 16 valve Honda motor, not a V tech. So guys, do not leave this video right now. But it is a motor which still has a soul, although it is petrol automatic gearbox. No insulation. Insulation wasn't needed in the 90s or the 2000s because any which way the sound was obviously very nice. Piper cross filter, which obviously makes the engine sound better. And just look at the design. Timeless, in spite of being almost 20 years old, it just looks so good. No fog lamps over here. Otherwise, fog lamps used to come in the VTEC motor or the VTEC variant Honda logo over there. Yeah, it looks very nice. Obviously, inspired from the old Civic. Wheels are small over here. Gets a wheel cap. One 75, 70, 13 inches. Indicator is missing over here. Body is a little bit rusted. Actually, this car's battery is also not working. We have to jump start this vehicle. That's why I'm not turned it off. That's why I didn't show you. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog with the key. Manual antenna over here. Yeah, the body structure might have been a little weak. In fact, it doesn't even mention city because that is also fallen off. Piper cross badging. Everything is fallen off. Honda, Honda, but Honda logo is over here. And yes, I mean parking sensors over here. One parking sensor has fallen and given you a hole over here. <laughs> so yeah, the car looks really nice. The wheel caps, the classic ones, the original ones, they look really nice. as well I meanwhile let me quickly get into the rear seat now this is bravery get into the rear seat firstly in those times rear seats did not have any door pockets no door pockets over here and this is the power window switch power windows work really fast over here i drove a safari recently and it's hardly 3 4 years old the windows used to take all the time to go up and come down you can see the quality levels are quite good this perforation on this door pad is really very nice and as you can see under thigh support is absolutely rubbish over here knee room and leg room isn't great either headroom is also poor so not really a car to sit behind and over here you get an ashtray but that's about it is a center armrest placed over here and there you go there are no cup holders inside and the seat is actually very low no adjustable headrest either and sun visors over here speakers placed over there on the parcel shelf there's a handle over here there's a light over here light doesn't work handle over here as well feels very or looks very greasy as such but not really very comfortable at the rear unfortunately let's quickly get out and let's open the boot actually now obviously you can't open the boot like this because there is no button to open it you have to open it from inside and there is the button for the boot there we go the boot opens and here it is the boot size is decent i mean it's not the biggest some mosquitoes on my hand and yeah but for those times when the city was launched in 1998 it was an absolute revolution when we had the st and all those cars i'll tell you some revolutionary features obviously door pockets are really very slim you can't put any 1 liter bottle over here these are power window controls over here again beautifully done door pad chrome handle over here that's nice these are adjustment for the rear view mirrors over here auto adjust yes this is for the rear defogger key goes over here yeah that's right a key goes and you won't believe the key actually looks like that of my house <laughs> there's a cubby hole over here there's no dead pedal over here there's a gap between over here so you can put stuff from here as well that's again very freaky nice three ac vents over here in the center that's again nice and the glove box is not really big as such this mirror is aftermarket it is internally and externally adjustable externally because when you drive it automatically moves so someone is actually adjusting it from outside this is very dirty and there's a mirror over there and there's a lot of fungus over here so yeah pardon me for that there's a clock over here with buttons actually to change the timing this air conditioning button and this has a light switch there's an audio system over here i think that's aftermarket there's an ashtray over here ashtray was like really important in those times and there's a cigarette lighter over here this cubby hole over here there's a coin holder over here and there is a cubby hole below this center armrest as well this is the handbrake of the vehicle putting it down and you know what it gets a reverse parking camera as well there you go not really a reverse parking camera that's a reverse parking sensor with a man standing there i don't know what is he trying to do dude what is up anyways as you can see the instrument cluster looks really very nice so in the center we get the gear position indicator on the right we get the fuel meter on the left we get the temperature meter on the left most we get the tachometer on the right most we get the speedometer along with the odometer as well as the trip meter and this is actually the lever for the indicator as well as the light this is for the wipers the wipers don't work i mean the water only doesn't come up neither do the wipers work they just don't work they are done with their time of working front seats are actually comfortable there's good amount of space headroom is also decent over here but you sit so low in this vehicle but honestly you guys want me to press the horn na horn is decent let's get driving bye bye no oh, bye dude you have to start driving okay i'm getting to drive All right, we are all set to go, which means turning off the air conditioning, and there's nothing else to turn off here. We go left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator, and off we go. Look at the wheel spin on offer, insane, and look at the motor. My goodness, that's why Honda is Honda. The motor really revs like crazy and pulls very strongly as well. 
this engine feels absolutely phenomenal in spite of this car being so old i am a big fan of honda because of the engine itself and here kick down come on give me the beans no give me the boost yeah what am i talking as you can see the motor gets quite noisy yeah in a good way now this being an automatic the four speed automatic the automatic absolutely sucks yeah automatic gearboxes the old ones absolutely suck it's a four speed torque converter now you can obviously shift into lower gears over this using this mode button over here on the gear lever but i've just kept it on one standard now it's not giving me a downshift but here it does and now there's a speed breaker coming ahead and i'm scared for my life will this car stop it stops but will it scrape because the ground clearance of honda city is very poor the old ones more so because the suspension is kind of bottomed out now but the motor feels so nice and refined and there it punches all the way shifting at 5000 rpm that's right 5000 rpm is where it shifts usually you know honda engines shift at 7000 rpm actually the red line is also marked at 7000 rpm but this being an automatic <laughs> decides to shift much earlier this is an extremely light car i can't tell you how light it is hard onto the brakes yeah the brakes are actually good but the tires are gone so it's kind of screeching onto the gas and there it <laughs> <laughs> it's an absolute go-kart trust me i feel like i'm driving a go-kart the steering offers great feel it's not aligned right now because it's pointing leftward but the steering does offer great feel and feedback as well at higher speeds this car actually remains glued to the road if the tires are in fine condition the tires on this car are not in fine condition and the suspension is also kind of gone i believe however in terms of driving feel there is so much feel on offer body roll is extremely well contained and body movement is also very nicely done on this vehicle here i see an open road i get hard to the throttle and there you can see there's so much punch from this motor in fact 0 to 100 kilometers per hour takes just 11 seconds that's how quick it is this is not a vtec by the way this is not a vtec this is the 1.5 produces around 100 horsepower and honestly the performance is really very nice and extremely sweet as well as you can see the brakes could have been better but the lightweight really helps its cause in giving it brilliant performance as well as handling so here we go taking a u-turn not an issue at all hydraulic steering and as i get into the gas here we go yeah steering really moves really quickly on this vehicle and then the motor pulls i mean every time you upshift there's like a pushback that's how fast and quick this vehicle is and how sure fitted it is it is just so much fun i mean i love the honda city for this very reason because even without vtec something absolutely kicks in you and when it does this car absolutely flies coming through a corner over here no issue just look at it how sure footed it is with wall tires this car is handling this well kudos to honda so the honda city this is the first generation which was actually based on the civic and this was available with three engine options 1.3 1.5 and 1.5 vtec and of course the vtec used to produce six horsepower more 106 horsepower used to get a rear spoiler as well as alloy wheels which were the chrome colored alloy wheels not the chrome colored chrome alloy wheels whatever and definitely that vtec was the highlight it was if in childhood if you have not heard about vtec power you have kind of ruined your childhood and then there was the lancer as well not many vibrations as such not many rattles in the sky either but overall what a phenomenal machine i absolutely adore the honda city for this very reason it feels so punchy and fun to drive here i get onto the gas and there it goes so much sound and noise and on upshift it absolutely pushes back it's just like flying that's the level of performance on offer that's how good this car is this is absolutely so much fun i totally adore the city for this very reason only the engine is such a gem in this vehicle this mirror though always keeps moving <laughs> and give me any view of what's behind or what's not behind actually that's it get into the gas and any time it downshift there's a resistance the gearbox is not very smooth it's noisy it is not the best gearbox but definitely the engine is one of the best you can have because this is what an engine should be get into the gas like okay here we go Boom. Okay, enough of artificial sounds. You're not an M5. A BMW M5 makes artificial sounds. This car doesn't have to make any artificial sounds. It is just so punchy naturally. So, there guys, this is my review of the old Honda City 1.5 automatic. As you can see, it is a phenomenal machine. I absolutely love it and I adore it. And if you like this video, you know what you have to do. Give it the thumbs up. That's the like button. And also subscribe to the channel. There's some effort at lower speed somehow. So, subscribe to the channel. Give it the like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Really soon, bye bye. Yeah, the ride quality is decent, but the car just moves around way too much over bad roads. Somehow, you know, it has a tendency of just wobbling all over the place. But the ride quality is decent. It is on the stiffer side, but the handling is such a gem in this car. It is such a gem. This is the first generation of the Honda City. That is the second generation of the Honda City. And trust me, I'll find a third generation as well over here. That's how popular this car is. Anyways, guys, bye bye.